Hi there. I'm going to do another shopping video. Uh, I went to Dollar Tree this weekend. I also have another Timu haul um, that came in today. I had a lot of fun at Dollar Tree this weekend. Um, I got a lot of different categories of stuff. I got some garden stuff, some stuff to decorate my porch, some miscellaneous things, a little bit of cleaning stuff, some kitchen stuff. I had a festival. I really did. So first thing, I love these. I always keep these around. I have them in my desk at work, my desk at home. I have them in the kitchen, upstairs, anywhere. This is great. You break a nail. Something needs to be fixed. This is wonderful because it's got the screw on, screw off cap. So as long as you make sure you're not dripping it anywhere, it's wonderful. It's great. I love it. This is my best version of super glue that I've found that I really like. So I do. I keep this everywhere. I bought two of them. I bought this for my kitchen. Um, I have heart-shaped mirrors in my kitchen. And when I get around to cutting the decals, it'll say this house runs on love, laughter, and inappropriate humor. So I thought this would be good. Nice little heart shape. Put my Wi-Fi password on. Because, um, you know, when people come over, you need that. I'll have friends that'll tell me, oh, you could have made that. I couldn't have made it for a buck and a quarter. So I bought one. And it was super cute. So I thought that was great. They had a couple of different styles. But I like that one because it matches my kitchen. Envelopes. I don't mail much anymore. Very rarely do I send things in the mail. But it's nice to have envelopes around just because every once in a while you need them. There's 80 in this pack. If I had to guess, this is going to last me the rest of my life or pretty close to it. So I have that now, so I'm good. Little desk calendar. Just so I can put it up uh, on my walls at work. I have cubicles, so they're those fabric walls. But I could just put that up so I can see the whole month at a glance. Um, I do have a page a day calendar, but I like this one because, you know, someone will say to you, oh, you know, what about the 15th or whatever? And you don't know what day it is. So it's just nice to have a nice, simple little calendar. And it comes in a little plastic holder. So if you wanted to, you know, you had a reason to keep it in your like three ring binder or whatever. So that's handy. Um, my office has, I have a window in my office. My walls are all cloth, so I can't put anything on the walls. But I got this, stay positive, work hard, make it happen. I had this same one in my last office, um, but when we moved, it didn't make the move. And that's okay because it was a dollar. Back then it was just a dollar. <laughs> um, my office is at the end of the row. The girls at work say they never know when I'm, when I'm there because I'm in the office part of the week. I work from home part of the week. So I got a flag so they'll know I'm there. It says, be a flamingo and a flock of pigeons. So I definitely have a little flamingo theme going on with my office. Um, if you were to put this outside, I would just be careful because it's thin. It's very, very thin. It's super cute. I can't imagine being outside. It would last more than one season because I would think it would fade, but it might not. So I don't know. We'll see if I, I keep, I have a little flag holder outside um, that I change seasonally. So I might try it. We'll see. Uh, spick and span cleaner dollar and a quarter nice to have you know cleaning around the house in the kitchen I like it in the kitchen for the counters and stuff so I use that a lot I got a couple of um, disinfectant wipes like the off-brand Clorox wipes I like to keep one of these in each um, each bathroom too I got, you know, one for the upstairs bath, one for the downstairs. And they're just nice to have around. They're handy. I got the off-brand uh, soap. It This is called Spa Soap. I was looking at it. It doesn't look too watery. A lot of times when you get the soaps and stuff at Dollar Tree, they're a little watery. But this one has a great smell. I don't have sensitive skin, so I don't generally have to worry about having reactions to things. But... Just cute. I'll try it. If I like it, great. If I don't, it's one bottle. It's 32 ounces um, for $1.25. You can't beat that. Uh, my toothpaste. So excited when I found this. Cinnamon. Cinnamon toothpaste. I have a problem with mint. I had a bad experience with peppermint schnapps as a youth. 
That was several, several years ago. And I still to this day don't like mint. I love the smell of a Girl Scout cookie, but if you put one in my mouth, it's going to bring me right back to that day and it's not good. So if I don't have cinnamon toothpaste, I can't brush my teeth and it's not been easy. So I'm pretty excited to find this one, cinnamon and in the whitening. So I was pretty happy about that. So I bought eight of them because I like to go big or go home. Uh, I have a table in my dining room that I try to change the, it's a, it, I, I change it for the season. So it's kind of my, my centerpiece on my table. So I bought a couple of things that I thought were super cute. You know, Memorial Day, 4th of July, Labor Day coming up. So everything's red, white, and blue. So I got this little guy. He'll sit right in the middle. Super, super cute. And they had several different styles. I just like this one the best. And then I got red, white, and blue stars to put in the bowl as well. I guess it should be this way. Red, white, and blue. Um, so I got those to put in the bowl as well. I got two sets. And um, these are nice because when they're inside, I can just put them away and they'll last for next year. Um, I bought my house a couple years ago, but I'm this year is the first year I'm actually getting it put together and decorated. Um, it's been a long road getting here. So I got some things. I got these. These are super cute solar lights. Um, I got six of them to line my walkway uh, where you walk up to the house. You know, it's plastic. It's all plastic. It's got the little stake in the bottom. Um, so you can put them in the ground. I usually buy these seasonally. Um, I can get two years out of these. Last year, I did uh, flamingos and sunflowers, and they're cute, but after a couple of years, um, if you take them in at the end of the season, they'll last. Uh, last year, I did not take them in at the end of the season. Um, I had a couple of surgeries in the fall, so my fall last year was a little off kilter. So that's my, my red, white, and blue decorations. Um, I do have a flag in my Timu hall that I'll put out front. Uh, my friend jokes with me because right now I just have a pineapple welcome flag and she's asked me if the neighbors have noticed. And I said, well, no one said anything so far, so I guess we're good. <laughs> um, my porch is all beach themed. I got a lot of beach stuff. Um, they have a shore living line at Dollar Tree. And I've seen some great stuff from other people that are doing hauls. And they, my, my Dollar Tree didn't have some of the things that theirs do. So I got the things I could. Um, I'm going to probably check out a different one because there's a couple other things that I saw on some videos that are things I definitely want. So I'm going to see if I can find them. Um, my, my porch is all, uh, it's a big enclosed porch. It's almost like a three season room. So I have a whole sill on the bottom and I was going to put a few of these out so there's a I got a green one and a blue one I got two two of each so I'm going to space those out on the sill I might I might put some flowers in them or or um, a seashell or something I haven't decided exactly what I'll put in those yet but I've got it right now my porch has is kind of my greenhouse so it's a little disheveled at the moment there are plants everywhere first year that I planted seeds that they actually grew and they're thriving. So um, I'm going to have some yellow squash to give away to my friends before they're even yellow squash because the plants, I have a ton of them. So once I get my greenhouse cleaned out, it will then become my porch again. That's my favorite room in the house. I love being out there in the summer, watching the storms, um, just enjoying it. It's just a nice, really nice, comfortable atmosphere. So I also, well, I can say I, and I also decided while I was there that my bedroom was kind of boring. So I was going to redo my bedroom. And since they had all this really great beach stuff and I really couldn't use all of it on the porch, I bought some to make my bedroom have a beach theme to it too. So this one, it says, meet me by the sea. Just a little tin, a uh, little bucket. I The one that I'm going to put out on the, the, the one I'm going to put on the porch says, wish upon a starfish. So I'm going to use this one to hold my napkins or, you know, whatever little things. I have a table out there because in the summer I'll eat dinner out there and whatnot. 
but I figure on the porch, this one will hold napkins or whatever. And on my dresser, this will hold hairbrushes, combs. I'm not sure yet. I'll decide once I get up there. It's kind of how I roll. Um, I buy all this stuff and then I make it work. Uh, so I bought two of these. They're, they call it craft fabric. I'm hoping I can make it work as a table runner or some sort of tablecloth. It's just a burlap with little green and blue starfish on it. So I bought two of those because I figure table runner, um, I have a really nice tablecloth that I got from Amazon out on the porch that has like, it looks like a, a shore. And so that most likely will end up in my bedroom. And then I got this for my dresser. I just thought it was super pretty and I'll just have a little something on my dresser uh, so that I can, you know, put all my stuff on it. <laughs> so, but I thought that was super cute. This is from the Shore Living line. It's polyester, um, probably pretty easy to clean up. So I, I should have probably bought two of these, but I bought one mostly because I want to get this stuff all laid out where I'm going to put it and then decide if I need more rather than buying too much and not really needing it. I got two signs. So this one, it's a starfish, a shell, another starfish, or I'm sorry, a starfish, a shell, and a sand dollar. Um, so I got that one, and then I got this one. Same kind of thing. This one just says, seize the day. Uh, same, same three, you know, same, little same three icons on it. Um, but I'm going to put that on either side of my porch door. So I'll have them hanging, you know, one and one. So I thought that would be super cute um, for when they come in. I have, my dining room table is so full of stuff right now because I have a thousand projects going. So I'm trying to balance everything. Um, I had bought a wreath frame and I have some different sand dollars and um, starfish and shells and I'm gonna make a wreath for my the door that comes from the porch into the house. So I just got these little sand dollar, the, I'm sorry, sand dollar starfish. There's three of them. They're, um, they're just cute little ceramic, well, it says plastic, three piece plastic starfish. And then I just got a bag of shells and I'm gonna glue those on to the wreath to make, um, you know, to just make a little, a pretty wreath for the door. And then I'll probably put some coral or something to blend it in. Now this is my, oh, one more thing. This I'm gonna put on my dresser. And then either with like a little um, mason jar for my Q-tips or cotton, the things I use to wash my face with. I wasn't sure if I was gonna use just this cause this is just, it's, it's, a, it's probably supposed to be a blackboard chalkboard sign. It just says shore living decor. It doesn't really say what it is, but it's it's super cute. Just got all the little um, shells and such around the side. The middle looks like it's probably chalkboard paint, but I got it to put with this cute little bowl. So like on my dresser, then I would, you know, put whatever in here, the makeup pads or whatever. So I thought that would be super, super cute. This, this shore living line at Dollar Tree is adorable. Um, my friend had told me about it last year and last year just wasn't a good year for me to get out there to get it. So I didn't, uh, but I'm making up for lost time this year. <laughs> and then everybody's been showing this and I was like, oh, I really don't need it. But I do, I do because this will look super pretty. I have an antique table that my brother had gotten me and I have that out on my porch and has that really pretty um, tablecloth on it. And I have my Alexa on it and um, some other things. And I thought this would look super, super cute. So it's these three plates. It is the small, just like a dessert plate. The, these are, are ceramic. This is the, the dinner plate. Real nice, just super cute, simple little shells, shore design. And then this the blue charger plate. So... A lot of people had put it, they had, you know, they had it done and it was, you know, they, they were showing it. Let's hope I don't break it before I get it out there. They were showing it kind of like that, sitting out there. And I thought that would just be cute. And I might put um, the little blue ball on top of it. I don't want to say it again because the other one's in here listening and 
I don't need her to start talking while I'm in the middle of this. So that was it for my shore section, my, my beach and my bedroom. Then I decided my kitchen, when I, when I bought this house, my house was built in 1932. It's the coolest house. I have metal cabinets. Um, my kitchen is, is yellow. Um, it, it's got the metal edge on it. It's, it's hard to describe because if I just describe it, it doesn't sound that great, but it's adorable. I love the, um, yellow and all of my, um, my appliances are all cobalt blue. My KitchenAid, my Vitamix, everything's cobalt blue. My toaster. So my kitchen is blue and yellow. I have towels from, I swear they must be from my childhood that just need to be thrown away. You know, sometimes it's time to just let the towels go and maybe buy some new ones. When I moved in here, um, I didn't really buy a lot of stuff because, you know, I had stuff, but I, I, I'm ready. I want everything to match and look nice and, you know, move forward now. So they had these really nice, and I didn't check Walmart. Walmart might have a better price. I don't know. But they were $1.25. Um, it's a kitchen towel. It says heavy -er weight. So I got three of these because all of the accents in the kitchen are this blue. Um, but the, you know, countertop and whatnot, my walls are bright, bright yellow. It's really nice. When you walk in, my house is super bright. So I got some new new uh, towels for the kitchen. And then I got some, just the matching smaller washcloths. Um, I got two pack, there, there it's a two pack for $1.25. So I got two of those. Uh, I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna just throw away some of my, my towels that are just gross. Um, it's time. Now this I got, this is a super cute, this is actually for my craft room. It just happens to be blue, which is why when I was sorting stuff out, it ended up with those. But it's a, a dispenser, like I'll fill it up with alcohol and use it in my shop. And then you can just put the pad on top of it and you push it down and the alcohol will fill the little cup. So you don't have to, you know, worry about having the bottle and then you have to stop and tip it where if this is here, I can just use one hand and just, you know, rub my little towel in there and it's good. So that's for my shop. Now my last bit of stuff is for my garden. I finally, when I bought my house, there were big ugly bushes in the front and down the side of the house and the yard needed a lot of love. We did a lot of work cleaning out the backyard, putting up a fence for the dogs. Um, this year, I had got garden beds last year, um, but I wasn't feeling good enough to really be out there and enjoy them. This year I am, I feel fantastic for the first time in years and I'm outside doing stuff. I mowed my lawn the other day. Um, that was huge for me. I've had years where I couldn't walk well enough to mow my lawn. And so it just feels good to be outside. So now I wanna make my yard pretty. I wanna make my garden nice. Um, I had mentioned before that I have a thing for flamingos. So I have um, the Featherstone flamingo. Um, I have some really nice solar flamingos from Amazon, but I have a Featherstone, the original Featherstone plastic flamingo. It's bigger and I saw this one at Dollar Tree and I was like, how can I not get this super cute little flamingo? This is more the size of when um, they when they do flockings and uh, they put you know a bunch of flamingos on your on your front yard. Well, he's just super cute, he or she, whatever. So I will put um, this flamingo out with my Featherstone one. Um, I'm not sure where they're gonna fit in the yard yet. I haven't figured that out because I made my side yard really nice and I have this beautiful glass frog um, bird bath and I put my nice metal uh, solar flamingos in front of them uh, and it's got the nice white rock down with the edging. It looks really pretty now. I'm not sure the plastic flamingos are gonna go there. So they might go in the backyard, but I figured got a little one to go with the big one. Also for my garden, I have from years ago, probably like, you know, 19 to 25 when my friends were doing home decor parties and party light parties. And, you know, you're like, oh, I'm getting my first apartment. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. I'm going to buy a house. I, I bought all this stuff. Well, I have this really cool chandelier. It's a candle holder, a chandelier candle holder. 
and it had little glass cups in it. Well, one year I had it out on my porch because I used to light it. Um, and again, I wasn't paying attention. So I didn't bring it in that year and all the little glass cups filled with water. And when they froze, the glass cups broke. So I saw these at Dollar Tree, little tiny ceramic pots. And there's three in a pack for $1.25. And again, I don't know if they're cheap or somewhere else. I didn't look. I saw these and I got super excited. So I'm going to put these in my chandelier and in my front yard um, where my garden is, I have a little wire bistro set and I put that out there. And so I'm gonna hang the chandelier over the bistro set. I was gonna try to do something with wine or I just didn't, I, I wasn't sure. So I decided I'm just gonna hang this over the table and it all match, it's all the same color. And it, I'm just gonna put this and then I'll probably, um, get go back to dollar tree they have these but they're um they're plain they're, there's no they're just this this clear and i might put those inside so that i'm not sure how i'd configure I, I might put some sort of little solar light in here so it'll look like lights i'm sure i can get solar lights that look like you know the flickering flame or whatever but so i got i got enough of these to fill that chandelier. Um, so I'm super excited to get that going. Last year, when I worked in my garden, I had a little basket and I had my garden tools in it. And I had put the little basket because it was like easy for me to take the basket out to the garden, pick the stuff I wanted. My tools could fit in it. Whatever I picked, I could carry it in. It was a great idea. Well, it was such a great idea that I put it away at the end of last year and I don't know where I put it. So I bought new garden tools, just a, a trowel and a, a little shovel, little little rake, little shovel. Um, super cute, you know, just, you don't need $90 tools to rake your raised beds. These are perfect. So I have these, I'm pretty happy when they have nice little rubber handles. So they really are, these are going to be nice to work with. I wish I could have found them both in pink, but I actually only found one trowel and it wasn't even where it belonged. So I grabbed it because that was the only one I found. So then I had gotten this bowl because I have, I want to put some, I bought some fake plants, which you'll see in my team hall when I do the next video. Um, but I was going to put this on the table and then have the plants like spilling out of it down the table. Um, in my mind, it's super pretty. I'm not sure how it's gonna work out, but I'm gonna give it a shot. Oh, let me put this over here. So that was what I bought that bowl for. And worst case scenario, if it doesn't work out, it's a plastic bowl, you can use it for anything. Um, and it's got, it has a little pouring spout on it. So if I do end up needing it for regular stuff, eh, it's a handy little bowl to have. It's, it's you know, it's pretty cheap but it was $1.25. And then I saw these and I really hadn't given it much thought. My mother loved gladiolas. Every Mother's Day, we would buy my mother gladiolas. At the end of our street, there was a farm that grew them. So there were just fields of gladiolas in every color you could think of. And so every time I see them, they make me think of my mom. So I saw these there. I don't know if they'll grow or not. But there's three bulbs in each pack. So I got a yellow and a pink. There was also a red and a white, but I only got two. So I'm going to plant those somewhere out there and see if I like, you know, if they come up. And, you know, I just, they, I thought of my mom when I saw them. So I was like, well, I need to get these. So that's my Dollar Tree haul. I got stuff for my porch, stuff for my garden, stuff for the house, um, this is what happens when I'm alone and have nothing better to do. I go find stuff I need. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to getting my my house organized, my kitchen organized. Um, you know, I'm, I'm in the house. You know, like I said, it's it. I just bought it a couple of years ago, but it it was a rough couple of years. So I'm feeling good now. I'm excited, looking forward to getting things going. And so that's it for this week's um, Dollar Tree haul. And I do have a Timu haul. I'm going to make that video in a minute. But my dog here is telling me he needs to go outside. So I'm going to wrap this video up and I will start the next one in just a little bit.
So thanks for watching. Have a great night.